So at the beginning of June, I went to Presence Conference in Geneva. Presence Conference is the annual conference of IAHM, which stands for International Association of Healing Ministries taking place in a European city each year in a different location. So I went there with my great friend Gladys. La 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 la, ETC. What happened there was just powerful. I literally live for moments like this. So I'm just going to sing a song with you. Et donc nous allons chanter ensemble avec vous. Let's just take one more minute to adore the Lord. Adore le Seigneur pendant quelques instants. Et vous pensez que vous êtes trop âgé pour être guéri. God wants to heal your back today and your bones. Et aujourd'hui, Dieu veut guérir votre dos et vos os. That's you. You're in your 70s. You're up here somewhere. Vous êtes dans la septantaine, par là haut quelque part. And you have trouble with the bones, aching in the bones, the body. Et vous avez des douleurs dans les os et dans le corps. I want you to put your hand on it. J'aimerais que vous leviez la main s'il s'agit de vous. There. There she is. Okay. okay. Son dos. The people next to her. Les gens qui sont à côté d'elle, mettez vos mains sur le dos. Jesus. Avec l'autorité du nom de Jésus. We command your spine to be healed now. Through the fire of the anointing. Merci pour le feu de l'onction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's fire is upon that woman right now. Le feu de Dieu sur cette femme en ce moment même. Sweetheart. Et madame. Would you check your spine right now? Si vous voulez maintenant contrôler comment va votre colonne vertébrale. Would you bend over as fast as you can? Penchez-vous aussi vite que possible. And find out if God has healed you right now. Regardez ce que Dieu a fait. Voyez ce que comment Dieu vous a guéri. Put your hands up and scream. If it's better. Good. Okay, if you're watching at home, the Lord can heal you right now as well. So just pray. There's a woman here who gets repetitive colds. You always get like flu all the time. From, from the pollen, you get these constant flu things. <laughs> So in this clip that you just saw, it was Ben Fitzgerald preaching. Ben Fitzgerald is a great preacher and evangelist full of the Holy Spirit. And in these videos, what you can hear him just receiving and giving prophecies, information about someone without knowing the person. It might look kind of weird, but actually it's not. Maybe you just think, oh, the guy is just inventing or it looks like a fortune teller or whatever. Actually, it's not. What happened there is just something that the Bible describes as word of knowledge. A word of knowledge is a revelation from God, a gift of revelation that reveals the will of God. It reveals what God wants to do. Once you're a believer, there are many gifts that you can receive and the gift of word of knowledge is one of them. Do you need healing in your body? Are you ready to receive? I have a feeling in my spirit many people have prayed for you. But let me tell you something guys. When we put our hands on people for healing, we're not praying a suggestion prayer. Oh God, I suggest you heal him. We're not praying a prayer to make the person feel confident. We're doing it to release power. So, we are in International Healing Conference in Geneva. It's day one and look who I came across! Hi, it's me! Hi guys! It's just like so packed and it's so crazy, it's so powerful. Like, all the, all the speakers are just... 
like I feel they're anointed. Yes, definitely. Yeah, they're just anointed. Yeah. So anointed. And there are speakers from like everywhere. I mean, they are from different backgrounds. So you have Catholic, Evangelist, Protestants, you have everything. So we've seen many miracles this morning many as well. Many healings. Many God healings. Is so. Definitely moving here. Yeah, so powerful. So you, good. Can you just tell the people about your story, like how you came here oh, and oh, that I was just like... Yeah, basically, a friend um, who's from Madagascar, she's just um, visiting Geneva and I was like, I really want to go see her and so I decided yesterday to come here. Amazing. Uh, but I completely forgot to get my passport with me so I almost got stuck at the border and I could have go back to Lyon but I don't know I feel like God wanted me here he's definitely talking to me a lot and I'm receiving a lot so it's just amazing <laughs> Comment tu vis ta conférence Eh ben en fait euh, j'ai vécu vraiment des choses euh, très magnifiques qui m'ont permis de comprendre que euh, évidemment le don de prophétie, de guérison des malades que j'ai que j'ai eu, euh, je l'ai franchement. Et euh, ben, demain euh, je suis dans la rue et euh, évangéliste, c'est sûr et certain. Ouais. Et tu mets pas ça dans ta vidéo. Hein. Non. Oui, je suis la personne de près de cette tonton. Um, Some weeks ago, I still had crutches. <laughs> and you can see the chair. So this is the end of day one. That was already just a blast. And right now, as I'm talking to you out there, there is the person who is the owner. Of, I mean, it's not the owner, but it's a pastor. <laughs> interesting story when we arrived the first night at the airbnb the airbnb host was a pastor and his wife so they they both were pastors they were filipinos and they are actually pastoring a church in geneva that was very interesting when we booked the airbnb we had no idea that the hosts were pastors so again If you say that God does not exist, you say that's just a coincidence, uh, yeah. As someone that I know always says, coincidence is God when he wants to stay anonymous. So basically, so we arrived and the guy was pastor and he, he just introduced himself, oh yeah, I'm Pastor Sony. And when we stayed at the Airbnb, he just told us about his story, what he, why he came to Geneva. And we told him, wow, we're also Christians. There's no coincidence in this, obviously. Et il entend parler de, du Holy Spirit et de of God to some girls. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, we experience God. Night was so powerful. So many healings happened. Uh, I mean, it started already in the morning, but so many healings. People healed from cancer, from so many things. And God is still the same. I mean, He's still healing people, so. Um, if you need healing, God can heal you. You just have to come to Him, to come to Jesus. And He's still alive and He's still healing people. And I mean, this is so great to be in that environment of faith. It's just day one. And I'm very excited about what the Lord is doing here in Geneva and in Europe. As we said, Europe shall be saved. Europe shall be saved. It's no longer the preacher's graveyard. So yeah, Europe shall be saved. La 10, les impressions de du la première journée. Punaise, musclé quand même. Tu vas me filmer maintenant Je filme pas là, mais tu peux parler. Comme ça, on aura tes impressions sans toi. <rire> mais je sais même pas parler devant une caméra. Moi, tu crois que je sais parler Aussi. Euh... I just rode this road. <rire> Jesus is my shelter. The healing is very good. In the end of times, à la fin des temps, God is willing to pour out his spirit. Dieu souhaite déverser son esprit on our flesh, sur toute chair. And then we read and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Et nous lisons que vos fils et vos filles prophétiseront. And your young men shall see visions. Et vos jeunes hommes auront des visions. 